Okay, my friend, so I thought today we would work with leather and I have three different pieces of, of the softer kind of leather and I wanted to make three gifts for three different people who know each other. So I thought I would use uh, different colors for each person. All right, let's get to work. Oh, and also I have these beautiful strings uh, all cut from leather that we're going to use as ties. I'm excited. Play a little bit with leather and I have uh, kind of some earthy threads here that I thought we would pop in the sewing machine and I am looking for a quick uh, packaging or quick gift um, for three different people and I pulled out some light leathers and I thought we would make some pouches. So I'm just gonna try and put the leather together and cut out some pieces. I'm not really going to be too precise on size, um, but I thought we would uh, create a nice, a nice quick last minute gift and a quick fun project maybe for ourselves as well. So I have this piece I've cut out, it's got some cool dots here. And this again is cowhide um, leather. And it is cured in Brazil and I bought a scrap bag of it. So I have some scrap pieces. And I'm going with the earthy tones, the browns here. And I wanna try and make a pouch somehow out of this. So I think we'll go ahead and cut off this side here that sticks out, throw our little pieces aside and decide how I want to hook this together. And maybe I'm gonna take it right down here. I don't know how big I want to make these little pouches, um, but we're just kind of gonna feel it out and go with what pops into my head is feeling right. So I've got this piece I've got cut and we're going to um, sew it together for a pouch and we'll put the drawstring in the top and pull it closed here. And let's go ahead with our third color here and decide. Now this one really is scrappy. It has, I saw two holes in it. So I have a hole right here. And I know I saw another hole. Let me identify my holes before I decide where my pouch is. And over here. So I have two holes right here. And I don't know if I wanna use them in the pouch or have them above where I need the pouch. So let's see how much fabric I can use. So that one's completely out of the way. And this one is down to here. Now, do I want a small pouch that I can use out of this portion here? or a larger pouch that I use out of this portion here. And let me go ahead and cut that as if it's my drawstring on the bottom. And I'm just gonna real quick cut across here. We're gonna say that this one's a little smaller than the other, so I'm not gonna use it today, or at least not for this purpose. And then see how I can make this pouch Looks like it's going to be smaller than the other two pieces, but not by much. See how I want to trim or cut this off to use as much as I can to have it as large as I can without getting too, too crazy on it. Okay, I'm kind of feeling that. Let's see how thin I get over here. Um... Let me just kind of cut off that corner, bring it down here. Let's move these pieces. Now, trying to figure out how I can make these patch pouches. I've already decided in my head, I think. And let me share with you, the straight edge is gonna be the top of the bag. And this at the bottom is gonna be the bottom. I'm not sure if I want that showing or not showing. This is pretty much straight on top or bottom. So if I do this on the bottom with the fridge hanging, fringe hanging, I'm thinking I'm liking the brown 
with these two better than I like the, this is too much yellow to me. So I think this is gonna to be too much yellow for both. I think we're gonna go with the solid brown for all three, because I wanna pull back in those earthy tones. And I'm gonna use the sewing machine, and I'm just gonna real quick see if I can't make three pouches out of these three scraps of leather. Um, now, leather you can get in a lot of different places. Come back to Where Wendy Creates. Uh, we are taking, uh, making episode number two. We're going to make a pouch out of this hunk of leather, and we're deciding how we want it to look. Um, if we want the rough edges on the outside, which I'm kind of leaning at doing that at the moment. And I'm not sure if I want to cut it in and have my fray all the way down, but I'm kind of leaning like that, and I like the rough appeal on the bottom, so I might just be keeping that, that there as well. So let's see if I can go ahead and sew this up from the uh, outside of it and see how it goes. We've got our brown thread in. We're going to be using some leather strings for the ties for the pouch. And we're making a pouch that you can keep dice in, uh, different things in. It's just really cool. Um, I wanted to make one. So let's go ahead and play and see if we can't uh, be creative. All right. So we are just gonna pop this in our Singer Heavy Duty Machine. I think I'll do some fray. So we're going to do it in uh, maybe a half inch, just to leave a half inch of uh, fray on the outside. And we're gonna take this down as a straight stitch to start. Locking in our stitch at the top. We want this extra sturdy. And we're gonna bring it all the way down to one side. sew it near off the leather and back on. And that way we get a very nice tough lock stitch. And I'm wondering, instead of leaving that fine line there, if we might want to uh, just uh, breach an idea of getting a different layer on it. So I think I'm going to do change my stitches over uh, to do more of a leaf type pattern just deciding yep let's do a leaf type pattern we're going to turn it over to um, red s2 on the singer heavy duty and see if i can do a fancy stitch on leather never tried this before um, so let's go and have fun down turn it up and it's not really getting a fancy stitch so I'm just getting a secured straight stitch even though I've asked for it to be a fancy stitch I'm double checking my dials everything is good and let's try and do up the side increasing our width oh there you go I love that stitch. Okay, so let me do that across the bottom and then I'm going to bring it over so you can see it because I love it. It really, really looks sharp. Okay, locking in my stitch. my stitch, raising my needle, 
Let's pull it out, trim those threads, and let me bring it over to you, see if you can see it a little better. And again, I'm gonna lay it down and you'll see a, a hopefully a, a real nice picture of the finished product when we get that done. But let me bring it to you so you can see. And I have um, kind of that fancy stitch on it. Um, kind of hard to see, uh, but we'll try and do a close-up of that a little bit later on so you can see that stitch. And it's a really rugged, beautiful piece of uh, leather. And then we're going to go ahead and do our pouch at the top. The bag is much bigger than um, for dice, but I think that's going to turn out very beautiful. And let's go ahead and fringe the side. The sewing machine over. And like I said, I think I'm going to fringe the side of this. Don't know how far we'll go down, but let's go ahead and start. I'm going to do one side, then we'll do flip it over and do the other side. And we're just going to start cutting at just the ever so slight angle. And we're just going to nip it. And we're going to nip it all the way down. And again, this is our second pouch that uh, we're making. And so this is episode two. But if you missed episode one, you can go back and watch it. We're going to have episode three for the third pouch because I have three different people I wanted to make a pouch for. And uh, then maybe I'll get the, the courage and the skills to make a, uh, a knife uh, leather uh, pouch for my son. He's asked for that, but I have a lot of soft leather and I really thought that should be much rougher, harder, durable um, leather. I've also thought about making some slippers and I have leather slippers with some uh, sheep wool insides and I just thought it would be very, very cool um, for me to make a pair and see if I can uh, make a pair that looks anywhere near um, fun and exciting. And I think I can do that. So again, if you like the rugged look, if you want to uh, work with thicker uh, fabrics, you can do this with any fabric. Um, you can get the leather uh, from most craft stores. I'm sure if you go online, there's going to be lots and lots of places to get it. Um, we're going to have a tutorial coming up on leather quality and leather types and leather curing because I am told that it is very important to watch where you get your leather from. If you want it to last forever, you need to get it from a, a quality curer um, of the leather. And you can tell because the leather is going to have that print mark inside of it. And I just, my scissors going around leather. I need to get another pair because these have just told me they are not going to work anymore. The tips of these are tired. Yep, not going to work anymore. Um, so you see how I'm... trim some of these pieces to make it a little bit easier around the corner. All right, there you go. And we have uh, made it around the corner there on the back side, and I'm really loving that. Uh, I've got to clean up my leather pieces. Um, now, I think doing the back side, I do really like the look of that. So I think I'm going to have to do some of the front side fringing it as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, I'm really thinking this is thicker leather here around the sides. Making sure not to get any of the back layer in this cut because you don't want to cut it through. So 
So we're fringing that. Okay, so what do you think? I think I need to rough up the front a little bit more to make it look better with the back. But again, we're gonna do that by taking a lot of this uh, fuzz off of it. And you can even take a, a razor blade or if you have the proper tool and just scratch the top of this, that's gonna take a lot of that off. It's gonna make it a little thinner. It's gonna make it happier to uh, play with. Um, a lot more, more fun. Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the holes in the top, shall we? And we're going to use our crocodile, and I'm going to see if it's going to do two links at one time or if I got to do it separately. And I am ecstatic because it just did two links at the same time, two two um, layers. I'll turn it this way so I can see how far I'm going over before I'm popping the next hole. I don't think I do one by itself on the end. Okay, so I have my holes in the bag and now I can go ahead and put my drawstring. And I'm really thinking most of these are all the same sizes. Um, might use two of them together, see how I want to do that. We're going to put them through the first two holes together, and I'm going to equidistance these so it's easier for me to tie at the end, and then I'll just pop them through in one, out the next, in the next, until we go all the way across. Didn't want to go through there. Still doesn't. Come on, back up. Too funny. There we go. And in. And out. And in. Oh, that should be out. So let's go ahead and pull that across. Let's do this other side. We're gonna go in. We're gonna come out. Go back in. Come back out. Now it makes me wonder Maybe I want a second hole. I think I'm gonna pop a second hole so everything is even. All right. Pop it in. And pop it out. Come over here and tie it. Okay, so there we have our nice drawstring pouch. We can go ahead and fringe the rest of this or just leave this flat, whatever we decide. And let's put our knot at the end of the bag. And I hope that you have enjoyed this second tutorial about making a leather pouch. Very, very easy, very, very creative. You can do as many different um, leather goods, pouches that you want. You can do fringe, you can do straight, you can do inside out, you can do anything you want. And look how big that bag is. And if I put another piece of leather on this side, you could put it right through your belt loop. And that's another idea. All right, my friends, thanks for joining me today. I hope you've had fun. I have had fun. Thank you. <laughs>